Namaste and peace and blessings. I would like to thank you so much for joining me here today in our low flow yoga session. I ask that you find yourself in a comfortable seated pose. I am sitting in a cow face. I invite you to find the seat or maybe a lotus, half lotus, easy seat, whatever feels good for you. Ensuring that our spinal cord is nice and long. Our shoulders are up nice and straight. Our tummy is tucked nice and tight. Palms are together at heart center. Gazing downward towards the earth. We're closing our eyes if we feel comfortable. Nice deep breath in. Hold the breath. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Noticing how the damn gaze and breath relaxes and soothes the mind and body. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe you notice how your Shoulders relax downward away from your ears. Nice natural breaths. Becoming centered here today. Bringing our awareness to our present moment. As we allow our hands to flow to the side of our bodies, palms are facing downward towards the earth. Using the palms to feel the energies of our environment and the universe, noticing and being aware. Using the next couple of moments of silence to see and feel what our environment and what the earth is trying to be real or show us. Gazing down, being aware, noticing, feeling, all without judgment. Exhale, side bend to the right, allowing our bodies to move to the side. Left arm comes above our head. As our body leans deeper towards the right, tummy is nice and tight. Going down towards the earth as much as we comfortably can. Holding his pose for two breaths. Exhale back to center. Palms are on the earth. Shoulders are nice and tall, spine of course long. Inhale. Exhale. Allowing our bodies to lean towards the left. Our right arm comes up in the air, flowing over our head. As our body leans deeper towards the left, noticing how this feels. We're going to pose two more breaths. Exhale and back to center. Palms are on the earth. Nice natural breath. Exhale, palms above the head. Seated salute. Maybe we can bring our palms together. Exhale down, seated prayer. Palms above, seated salute. Spinal cord is nice and long. Our arms are reaching up towards the sky, still in a stretch. Palms together, exhale, prayer hands. Bringing our palms back up in the air. Maybe allowing our palms to hang out one side like an X. Breathing in, chin slightly up, chest, heart chakra is up. Leaning forward, noticing how we feel. 
natural breaths. As we bring our palms up nice and high, twisting our body towards the right, allowing our palms to come down, fill in a seated twist. Exhaling back to center, arms come up in the air like an X. Palms facing out sideways, noticing how this feels in our bodies. As we twist to the left, arms come down, seated twist, left side, gazing over that left shoulder. Exhaling back to center. Relax. Mm. Noticing how we feel. Natural breaths. Using a moment of silence, using a down gaze to help us relax and help us go inward here today. Reading our legs forward in our staff pose. Our legs are parallel, side by side. Shoulders are back, spinal cord is nice and long. Bringing our hands, breathing our hands above to the side as we lean forward in our seated forward fold. Reaching down to our feet or our ankles, allowing our head and torso to fall towards our legs. Noticing how this feel in our hamstrings. We're gonna hang out here for four to five natural breaths. Slightly gazing forward, our spinal cord comes straight. Breathing back up to our staff pose. Lifting our right leg up in the air, placing our feet flat on the floor. Lifting our right arm up, leaning our body towards the left. We're going to work on a sage reaching by leaning forward and wrapping our arm around our leg. Right arms wrapped around right leg. Fingertips are to the backs of our body. We're going to take our left hand and wrap our left hand behind our backs interlacing and connecting our fingertips behind our backs. Feeling a stretch here. Hanging out in our Sage Marici in any way that feels good for you. Tummy's nice and tight. I'm gonna hold this pose for four natural breaths. Uninterlacing our fingers. Unwrapping our leg, bringing our legs back forward, we are back in our staff pose. Arms up in the air, feeling a stretch as we lean forward, seated forward fold, reaching down, feeling a stretch in our hamstrings. Hanging out here, four breaths. Slightly gazing forward, back's nice and straight, chin slightly up, feeling a stretch here. Exhale back to our staff pose. Lifting our left foot up in the air. Left foot is flat on the earth. We're gonna do our Sage Marici opposite side. Left arm goes up in the air nice and high, leaning towards the right, slightly leaning forward. Taking this left arm and wrapping it around our left leg. Taking our right hand and bringing it behind our back. Interlacing our fingertips, feeling a stretch. Tummy's nice and tight. Shoulders, chest, heart chakra slightly up. Noticing how we feel. We're going to hang out here for four natural breaths. I'm interlacing out fingers. I'm wrapping that leg, straightening out that leg back to our staff. Inhale, palms above the head, oh, feeling a stretch. Breathing down, seated forward fold, reaching down. Hanging out here, maybe we can pedal our feet. Noticing how this feels in our hamstrings. Leaning completely over, relaxing our body. Tummy's 
Exhaling back up to our half seated forward fold, chin slightly up, back kind of straight. Exhale to our staff pose. Ooh, nice natural breaths, flowing with our bodies, listening to the intuitions of our environment. Continuing to touch the earth with our hands, we'll allow our hands to slightly touch the sides of our bodies, maybe coming slightly behind our backs. We're going to work on a reverse plank. Softly pushing our bodies up off the earth. You notice your hips come higher, buttocks comes off the earth. Walking our feet slightly forward if we need, whatever we need to do to get comfortable in our reverse plank. Lifting our body high in the air as much as we can. Tummy's nice and tight. We're going to hang out here, building strength for four to five breaths. Noticing how this feels in our arms. Nice natural breaths. Inhale. Exhale down the staff. Breathing our arms above our heads. Exhale down, forward fold. Reaching down to our ankles or our feet. Relaxing our bodies completely over our legs. Hanging out here for breaths. Half forward fold. Chin slightly up, back nice and straight. Exhaling back to our staff pose. Relaxing the body. Coming onto our hands, knees, finding ourselves in our tabletop pose. <sighs> Dropping down to our cow. Nice natural breaths. Coming back up to our cat. Dropping back down to our cow. In our cow, noticing how our tummies come towards the earth. Our back is slightly sunken. Nice breaths, chin slightly up. Exhale to cat. Chin comes towards our clavicle. Our spinal cord goes up in the air. Tummy's nice and tight. Hanging out here for a couple breaths. Breathing back to our cow. We're gonna do a couple of cat-cow rotations to our natural breath, simply working on our spine, seeing how this feels within. <sighs> Hanging back out at our table. Inhale. Exhale to bird pose, right side. Right leg goes out to the back, nice and high. Noticing how this feels. <sighs> Maybe we can do a couple of leg pulses here. Slightly and softly lifting our leg up and down, feeling the pulse. We are working on our gluteus maximus here. Nice natural breaths. Working on our buns still. Finding pause. If we need to rest our leg, we can always come down in our bird pose, resting on our toes, or we can lift that leg up. Bringing that left arm forward. So we have our left arm forward and our right leg to the back, feeling our body strengthening and balancing here. Our tummy is nice and tight. We're gonna hang out here for five breaths. Exhaling that leg down, coming back to our table, dropping down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. Coming back to the table, bird pose opposite side, left leg goes out to the back, nice and high. <sighs> Maybe we can do a couple of leg pulses, lifting our leg up, working on our gluteus maximus. Lines of skill. Tummy's nice and tight. Simply being aware of how this feels in our body. Finding our pause, straightening out that leg, bringing our right arm forward. We are nailing our full bird pose. 
balancing our bodies here. Feeling our body strengthen. Tummy is nice and tight. We're gonna hang out here four more breaths. Exhale back to our table, dropping our bodies down to our cow. Nice natural breaths. Exhale to cat. Coming back to table. Pushing our bodies up, down dog, building strength. Gazing back at our feet, noticing how we feel. Gazing forward at our hands, keeping our tummies nice and tight. Maybe we can spread our legs slightly apart in our down dog if we choose. Pushing our bodies up nice and high, ensuring that we're not leaning, but we are nice and long, strong arms. Hanging out here, building strength, building awareness. How do we feel in our bodies? Maybe bringing our feet back together in our down dog. Working on our three-legged dog, right legs in the air, nice and high. Noticing how this feel as we bend our foot towards our buttocks. Breathing over. Wild thing. Feeling a stretch in that wild thing. Hanging out here. Nice and relaxed. Two more breaths. Exhale back down. Down dog. <sighs> Building strength in our arms. Three-legged dog opposite side. Left legs in the air nice and high. Bending our left foot towards our right buttocks. Falling over to our wild thing. <sighs> Feeling a stretch. Two more breaths. Exhale back, down dog. <sighs> Building strength in our arms. <sighs> Gazing back towards our feet, looking through our legs. Feeling a stretch here. Gazing forward at our hands as we flow up to up dog. <sighs> Breathe down dog. Exhale, up dog, building strength. We're gonna do a couple of up dog, down dog rotations. Down dog. Up dog. Noticing how we feel as we come into our high plank. We're gonna hold this four breaths. Working on our arms here, working on our shoulders. Exhale, side plank. Either side that feels good for you. Arm comes up in the air. We're gonna hang out here, four breaths. Exhale, back down, down dog. <sighs> Breathe up, high plank. Exhale, side plank, opposite side. Arms up in the air. Two more breaths. Exhale down. <laughs> Down dog. Breathe up dog. Exhaling down to our cobra, ensuring that our shoulders are away from our ears. Feeling a slight back bend here in our cobra. Breathe up dog. Exhale, Cobra. <sighs> Breathe, wide-legged child's pose. Hanging out here, relaxing and resting our bodies for a couple breaths.
maybe walking, maybe rocking side to side in our child's pose. <sighs> our torso is between our thighs. Maybe our heart chakra chest is touching the yoga mat. Our palms are on the earth as we continue to feel the vibrations and the energies of the universe. Maybe we can walk our fingers forward, feeling a stretch. Noticing how this feels in our body. As our heart chakra comes closer to the earth. <sighs> nice natural breaths here. <sighs> Exhale into a couple of spinal waves where we can find ourselves in our table pose. <sighs> Whatever feels good for you. I'm gonna do a couple of spinal waves here. <sighs> Relaxing and decompressing of a spinal cord. As we come to our table, dropping down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Coming to table. Thread the needle right side, bringing our right arm out to the side like a T. Threading that right arm through the left, bringing our chest and bodies down towards the earth. Relaxing here, hanging out here for a couple breaths. We can always go deeper in our thread the needle by lifting up our left arm and wrapping it around our backs. <sighs> May we unwrap that arm and unthread the needle, finding our bodies back in our table. Dropping down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to table. Thread the needle opposite side. Left arm comes out to the side like a T. Threading that arm through our right, bringing our bodies down. Relaxing here. We can go deeper if we choose by lifting that right arm up in the air and wrapping it around our backs. We're going to hang out here for a couple breaths. Unwrapping that arm, unthreading that needle back into our table, drop into our cow, exhale into our cat. Coming back to our table, pushing up, up dog, I'm sorry, down dog. Three-legged dog right side, right leg's length is nice and high. Bringing our right foot to our right hand, we're coming into our runner's lunge. Using this to open up our hips, maybe we can drop our knee down towards the earth. Coming in. Working on our lizard, bringing our right arm inside of our right leg. As we relax here in our lizard pose. Pushing our bodies up, exhale, exhale, down dog. Three-legged dog, opposite side. Left foot, left hand, runner's lunge. Dropping down to our knee, bringing our left arm inside of our leg. Coming down to our lizard, opposite side. Coming off of our knee if we choose, whatever feels good for us. Hanging out here for a couple breaths. Bringing our knee down, pushing our bodies up. Exhale, down dog. <sighs> Three-legged dog, right side again, right foot, right hand, back to our high lunge, coming back down to lizard. We're going to give lizard another go. We're working on opening up our hips so that we can one day get into that full split. Dropping our bodies down to our forearms, hanging out here in lizard. Exhale, runner's lunge. Coming into our down dog. 
three-legged dog, opposite side. Left foot, left hand, runner's lunge, drop into our knee. Coming into our lizard, bringing our arm inside of our leg. Coming down on our forearms. Coming up off that knee if we choose. Hanging out here in this lizard for a couple of breaths. Filling our hips open here. Two more breaths. Exhale, run his lunge. Breathe to our down dog. <sighs> Build and strengthen our arms. Maybe we can pedal our feet. Walking our dog here. <clears throat> Noticing how we feel. Build in strength. Breathe up, dog. Exhale, down, dog. Breathe up, dog. Exhale, cobra. Breathe back, child's pose. Hanging out here, relaxing. Noticing how we feel. Using this moment to catch our breath and relax. Mm -hmm. Gazing forward, stretching our arms out in front of us. Palms are on the earth. Continuing to feel the vibrations of our environment, listening to what? Listening to the intuition and feeling the energy. Exhale, tabletop. Breathing to our cow. Nice, natural, slow movements. Exhale to our cat. Flow into our table, crossing our feet behind us, finding our bodies into our seated pose. As we flow into a seated twist, right side, softly gazing over that right shoulder. Exhale back to center. Seated twist, opposite side, gazing over that left. Breathing back to center. Pushing our bodies up into our cow. Chest comes forward, chin comes slightly up. Exhale to cat. We're gonna do a couple of seated cat cow rotations to our natural breath. Noticing how this feels in our body. <sighs> Finding our paws at center. Coming on to our backs. Finding ourselves in a reclined pose. Maybe bringing our knees to our chest. Hugging our knees into our chest. Lifting our legs up in the air. We are legs on a wall pose or invisible wall in my case. Allowing our legs to relax to the side. We are in our reclined, wide-legged stretch. Feel in a split here, hanging out here for a couple breaths, maybe pointing our toes, bringing our hands inside of our legs and pushing our legs further apart. Relaxing our bodies, relaxing our mind, allowing our shoulders to relax backwards into the yoga mat. Completely relaxing our body, which may allow our legs to come further towards the side. Nice, natural breaths. You're going to hold this pose for more breaths. Bringing our palms to the outside of our legs. Bringing our legs together, back to legs on the wall. Bringing our knees into our chest. Hugging them in for a couple seconds. 
Exhale, recline, twist, legs to the left. Noticing how we feel as we allow our right arm to come out to the side and we gaze over that right shoulder. We're gonna hang out here for a couple breaths, ensuring that our shoulders are relaxed downward and to the mat. Exhale back to center, knees to chest. Allowing our knees to fall towards the opposite side. And the opposite arm comes out to the side like a T as we gaze over that shoulder. We're gonna hang out here for a couple breaths, completely relaxing our shoulders. Exhaling back to center, bringing our knees back into our chest, hugging them in, allowing our feet to fall down. We're going to work on a bridge pose, using our feet to lift our buttocks up in the air, filling our gluteus maximus work in here. Maybe we can do a couple of pulses, lifting our buttocks up and down, filling the burn here in our gluteus maximus, working on our buns of skill, finding pulse. Up. Our buttocks and hips are high in the air. Maybe walking our hands underneath our bodies, interlacing our fingers, bringing our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord, noticing how our hips come higher in the air, as do our chest. You may notice that our gluteus maximus is even tighter than before. Maybe hang out here for six breaths. Buns of steel. Exhale down, bringing our knees back into our chest, hugging them in, legs back up on the wall, bringing our knees back to chest, crossing our feet at our ankles as we push our bodies up into a boat pose. Exhale. Feet come straight in front of us. We are in our boat pose, feet are straight in front of us. Our hands are parallel with our lower legs. Tummy's nice and tight, feeling our body's balance. We just worked our abdominals, so we're gonna work our abdominal. We just worked our gluteus maximus, so now we're gonna work our abdominal muscles. We're gonna hang out here, six more breaths. Building strength, building balance. Three more breaths. Holding a pose, keeping our legs in the air. Reaching down, connecting our hands to our feet. We're gonna work on a boat pose variation. Some people also call this bear pose. Bringing our left leg out to the side like a V. Building a stretch here. Allowing our opposite leg to come out to the side. Now our legs are completely like a V. We are in our boat pose variation or bear pose. We're gonna hang out here for six natural breaths, filling the balance, filling the stretch. Two more breaths. Bringing our knees together, bringing the palms of our feet together, shall I say, and coming down to our butterfly. Chest comes forward as we are in our cow. Breathing back to our cat. Chest comes back forward in our cow, noticing how to spill. We're gonna do a couple of butterfly cat cow rotations. Leaning forward in our butterfly, feeling our hamstrings, I'm sorry, feeling our inner thighs become nice and relaxed. This is also a hip opener.
noticing how we feel in our butterfly forward fold. Opening up our hips even more. We're gonna hang out here for four more breaths. Slowly coming back up to our butterfly. Nice natural breaths as we cross our legs in our easy seat or cow face legs, whatever feels good for you. Bringing our palms together at heart center. Gazing downward towards the earth. Inhale. Exhale. Notice how the breath relaxes our bodies. Inhale. Exhale. I would like to thank you for allowing me to guide you here today in our low flow yoga session. It truly was a pleasure. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me in our brief yoga flow. I hope I get to see you next time on the mat. Peace and blessings be to you. I am Sister Moon. Namaste. Take care, and I'll see you next time on the mat. Thank you so much.